Okay, after you've signed up for Mozilla VPN, you're ready to download. Go to vpn.mozilla.org slash vpn slash download. And under VPN for Windows 10, click the download button. Choose a place to save your download file. And then choose open when done. Okay, choose yes to allow this app to make changes. Okay, now I'll click started on Mozilla VPN. Then a web browser is going to pop up. Okay, click OK to keep using this app. Then on the Windows Defender firewall, choose public networks and allow access okay in the web browser log in with your email address and password then after the login you can close the web browser Okay, we're signed in. Click continue. And if you want Mozilla to receive technical data, choose allow on this device. Otherwise, click don't allow. Okay, the first thing we need to do is select a location for our VPN server. Okay, if you want to select multi-hop, which is using more than one server for your VPN, click multi-hop. Choose your first server or entry location. And then choose your second server. Okay, then go back. Next, click Settings in the upper right corner. Then click Network Settings. Then check Local Network Access so you can access your printers and other devices on your network without using the VPN. And if you want to exempt apps from using the VPN, click App Permissions. Turn off Protect All Apps with VPN. Then check the box besides any applications that you don't want to be protected by the VPN. Then go back to the home screen. And flip the switch to turn VPN on. Okay, if you get this background service error, you need to completely close out of Mozilla VPN by clicking the X in the upper right corner and then going to your hidden apps in the taskbar, right click Mozilla VPN and choose quit Mozilla VPN.
Then go to your start menu and start Mozilla VPN again. Then turn the switch to on. Okay, Mozilla VPN is now up and running on Windows 10. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.